just up here blowing smoke and none of these fans, uh, because that's not what it's about. It's about business, and we believe we can win multiple championships if we take care of business and do it the right way. Okay. I, okay. I don't know if anybody knows, if you haven't really looked at my uh, channel profile, you wouldn't know that, like, my hometown's Miami. Um, I was raised in Miami. I wasn't born there. I was born West Coast. But, um, I, I mean, seriously, when you've been somewhere since the age of two, that's basically your hometown. But, like, I remember hearing about the LeBron James thing, about him leaving, um the Cavaliers and I was just like okay he's leaving the Cavaliers I think I had heard something once that he had possibly had some interest in the magic but then like to hear when he went to Miami and how crazy everybody got like over and I didn't even know they had like that huge welcome party they were playing this on uh Sun Channel since you know I am in Florida they have the specific channel for like Florida sports-ish and stuff like that I was just like, look at this, and I'm guessing this was in the Airlines Arena. That thing is full. <laughs> I mean, how many people even heard about the fact that after it was officially announced, there are, like, no more season tickets for the Miami Heat? Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, continuing on, that was my sister on the phone, and I talked to her for a few minutes. Ah. But, um, you know, yeah. The fact that there's, like, no more season tickets for the Heat, except for if you've got lots of money, which there are actually some people in South Florida who have lots of money, as well as around the area, where if you wa if you still want to get some Heat tickets to watch LeBron, you were starting somewhere around $6,000 and up, I think, for almost, like, floor seats. Um, but I'm just also curious what other people are thinking. I've heard about some of the people in... Um, some of the Cavaliers fans, I'm sorry, it's having a short on that. I think it's Cleveland. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not the biggest person on basketball, but, you know, this has kind of hit the sports airways and all over the place lately. So I just had to at least make a quick statement about it. Um, <clears throat> but it it is, like, what are some people thinking about this? Because I know the Cav some of the Cavaliers fans have been apparently burning LeBron's jerseys that they bought. Um, I know now in Miami they already have, I guess he's number six, they have already have jerseys for him and people have bought them. It's going like crazy. Like, do you, do you, do you, like really basketball fans, what are your opinions? What do you think? Um, you know, it's kind of interesting the fact that people are like, oh, athletes are so overpaid. Um, and LeBron actually took a, pr um, a pay cut uh, my, I talked to my dad who still lives in Miami and he said apparently like all of the other two um... <laughs> okay I'm gonna wait on this in a second um, I'm gonna do that later uh, but I think Dwayne Wade and the other person I'm sorry I don't know his name the other guy who's on the Olympic team also possibly took a pay cut like, what are your opinions about this? Are you thinking Miami Heat's possibly going to go all the way? I heard people on that little telecast, like, saying, like, beat the Lakers, beat L.A., beat L.A. What What do you think this impact's going to be? What are your predictions for the new, um, for the next NBA season? You know, just leave a comment. I'm just curious. <laughs>